Okay, guys, I want to show you a uh, project I wanted to work on. Um, I have this radio flyer wagon. You can see it's laying there. Um, it had gotten, it had been out in the rain a couple of times and mostly covered during its life. So it's really not in that bad of shape. One of the wood's broken, but I can fix that. But, you know, it's, it's still uh, useful for carrying stuff around. I mostly put tools in it. Occasionally I'll put my son in it too. But anyway, so um, it basically, you can see the wood here had really, uh, really gone to the end of its usable life. So what I did was I, I had some old bed frames as I always scavenge those uh, for projects. And simply what I did was I just took my trusty welder and you can see I simply welded up a really simple frame. Let me see if I can get the good light here. Um, there it is. Uh, just welded up a really simple frame. When I get it done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, simply uh, paint it, paint it black to uh, get, you know enca encapsulate the rust and so forth. And um, I don't know. I just thought I'd show you instead of throwing this away and you know maybe buying another wagon for uh, I don't know. They're probably sixty dollars or who knows, probably more now. Um, instead of doing that, and you can see here's the here's the bottom section of it. The uh, part where you get it done. Right now I have some uh, uh, penetrating oil going on the bolts here so that when I get done they will I will be able to take those off and um, or I'll be able to take them off before I weld them on and get this wood. Um, I'm going to give this a quick coat of paint also to uh, freshen it up and um, if I was real serious about it I would uh, soda blast it and get it down to the bare metal and stuff but that's too much work for this project so um, maybe next time I repair it down the road but um, that uh, steel frame should give it a uh, uh, plenty of extra life uh, before I ever have to buy another one and you can see here you can see it from the back um, I guess just from being over time from being pulled around the rear wheels were not aligned properly um, they kind of went over to the angle at an angle so I had to it's hard to see from this but I had to just eyeball it and kind of uh, uh, make it work so anyways just kind of a neat project don't throw your stuff away repair it and remember uh, tools pay for themselves in no time um, and uh, it's just a fun hobby project if anybody has any thoughts or uh, comments uh, please feel free to leave them on the uh, on the comment section thank you okay guys and uh, maybe gals watching this um, this is a uh, I wanted to show you I'm finishing up on the wagon now it's really sturdy it's a lot more sturdy than I thought it would be um, what I've done is I've used some of this uh, rattle can uh, spray paint here uh, I used I think a flat on it there this is I ran out so I just grabbed this that was in the uh, in the uh, uh, shed there and so I'm going to finish up painting the handle but other than that most of it's already painted I might do another coat since I've got extra paint no big deal um, welds came out pretty good especially they look a whole lot better uh, when they are um, when they're painted they don't look so hard but again I'm not a uh, I am not a, a welder by any means I am uh, just a hobbyist so don't take my advice on welding um, you can see other welds here that one, uh, it came out pretty good. That one, maybe a little better. Fairly good uh, penetration on most of the welds. Should be sufficient for just carrying around some tools and stuff like that. So, anyways, I just thought I'd uh, show you this. I'll take one uh, quick video and uh, edit it in for when it's completely finished, see what it looks like. Thanks. Okay, I want to show you the completed product, uh, or, or rehab here. You can see this is my... Um, uh, what is that? Radio Flyer Town and Country Wagon. Um, you know, just to give background on it, I think I got a garage sale about 10 years ago or m maybe more. But anyways, I think it was only like 5 bucks then. So fixing it maybe um, maybe wasn't the best time decision. But um, all in all, I'd say the whole process probably took me uh, an hour and a half or so. You know, And the materials, I had all the metal, metal laying around. I already have my welder. All I need to do is really spend a little bit of paint and a little bit of time. Maybe like uh, $3 in paint, maybe something like that. So you can see it's, uh, it's all put together now. And frame's nice and solid. The, uh, you can see it sits right in it. After building this, I, I realized that I could have just 
almost uh, built the entire cart and just left out the old pieces. But anyways, I wanted to keep this one uh, kind of together for, I don't know, just for nostalgia's sake, I guess. And you can see uh, it's pretty good. This inside, this is definitely going to have to be replaced. Um, I've got a, uh, a piece of wood, as you can see over here. I'm going to go ahead and cut that, and I'll go ahead and put that in the... Uh, into the uh, bottom there. Should give it a lot sturdier uh, piece uh, than the wood that's in there now. You can see it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, there's a little little stronger piece underneath that top veneer, but still be nice to have a nice uh, three quarter inch plywood in there or something like that. So then uh, it'll be good to go. So anyways, um, oh, I got this one on backwards. Let me go ahead and turn it around. There you go. There we go. Now it's looking right. And you can see it is ready for carrying anything. Tools, kids, nice cooler beer wouldn't be a bad idea either. Maybe at a, some sort of a, a social event. And uh, there it is. So if anybody has any questions or comments, as I've said before in the other uh, splices of the video, uh, reach out to us or reach out to me on, on the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching.